slightly different video today. I want to talk about how by changing your environment, right, so the way you sleep and what you're actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis, you can really change how likely you are to lucid dream. So really this is, uh, this should be titled something like interruption for lucid dreaming, right? Because when you interrupt something or when you change a cycle, you're much more likely to lucid dream. And what I mean by that is, so I've just got back from a trip to, uh, to Southeast Asia, as I'm sure you know, and each location that I moved on to, right? So say if I stayed in one place for two weeks and then I moved on to somewhere else, each new bed that I slept in, the first night or two, I would always have crazy lucid dreams and at the very least vivid normal dreams. And I think it's just because of the interruption to the, to the cycle, to the schedule, right? So say if you sleep in the same bed every day, if you sleep in the same bed every day and every day is the same, go to the same places, you have the same routine, it's gonna be less easy to lucid dream because you're not interrupting anything. So your brain doesn't have anything to sort into a long-term memory. You know, one of the, they think one of the main reasons we dream in general is to sort our memories from short-term or from what's happened in that day to long-term. And this sort of sorting and organizing of the memories happens during our sleep while we dream. And that's why if you become aware in the middle of that, you can sort of see these memories being sorted into their long-term storage places in your brain. But the problem with that is, if you don't have many memories, there's not gonna be much sorting going on, and so there's gonna be less action going on in the dream, and less, there'll be less opportunities for you to become lucid. Whereas if you're constantly interrupting your patterns, whether that's going out and meeting new people, trying new things and having new experiences, or even just moving on and sleeping in a different bed, as is the case when you travel long term. When you travel for more than about one or two months, you end up sleeping in several different beds. You know, you might be in a hotel for one week, then you might go and sleep on a cruise for two to three days, then you might go in a hostel for a week, then you might go to a, an Airbnb for a month even. And by changing these different locations of where you're sleeping, as well as the changing surroundings and environment, because obviously you're moving through a country or two a different country when you're traveling, you end up having more lucid dreams. And I don't know for sure whether it's because I was changing where I slept or because I was changing where I was in terms of like having new experiences, making new memories and seeing new things. But all I do know for sure is I had some crazy lucid dreams, guys. Like they felt like they were going on for hours. I know they weren't, but they it felt like they were. And uh, yeah, there were some really profound lucid dreams different things happened you know I was there was one where I was flying but it sort of felt like I was flying in all directions at once so I guess the result of that is you would say well you're just standing still but it didn't feel like I was hovering in a, in one place it felt like I was moving in all directions at the same time very weird experience right and if you've not had I mean if you've had an experience of flying in a lucid dream you know that feeling okay it's similar to the feeling when you're sitting in an airplane and it just that acceleration when it takes off it sort of builds within you and feels like a force that you can't really fight against, but then you don't want to fight against it. It's sort of a, a nice feeling that you get. The g-force of what what is the plane's acceleration pushing you back against your seat. That feeling, uh, but imagine that feeling amplified by, I'd say two to three times, right? So it's, it's a bit better, uh, but it feels like it's going in all directions at the same time. It's a very weird feeling, it really was. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's one of the, the uh, lucid dreams I had when I was moving on from, I think, Halong Bay to uh, Hanoi or something like that, or the other way around. In a nutshell, what you have to do really to do that is just focus on changing your routine, right? Even if it's just seeing something new every day, even if it's just taking a different route to work, or even if it's just playing a different video game, if you always play the same one, play something else. If you always eat the same thing for dinner, have something different. You know, instead of going to the pub to see your friends, why not go and do something completely different? You know, go paintballing or go for a walk even. Meet in the day instead of the evening or meet in the evening instead of the day if you normally do that. Just do something different to what you're normally used to. And the result is you'll probably have more lucid dreams. You know, at the very least, you'll have a, a vivid dream in which you sort these new memories into their long-term storage places which is kind of cool to experience. And you know, you wake up in the morning and it's kind of interesting to, to, to reflect and to remember that sort of dream. Um, if you do happen to want to see my travel vlogs, you can see them on Transcend Your Limits, which the channel is uh, linked in the description. And failing that, I will see you tomorrow. Done.
Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website or something like that.